so generally classes in Python can have uh, some particular methods which are inside these classes. And the same goes for model class. And uh, basically when you create the object of the class person, you might want to call some uh, methods for this object. I don't know, for example, you might want to call some method which will uh, return back the information about uh, if this person was born uh, before 100 years or later. So in this case, um, we can define the method called before 100 and if self birth year before 100 return true else return false so in this case so for example let's create a person and the birth year will be for example one and now this object will actually have this method so uh, in this case we should uh, receive back true value because uh, this this person actually was uh, born before uh, year one so yeah uh, we have true here uh, there are also uh, for example some already predefined methods of the class model and uh, we can actually uh, redefine it for example safe so generally we could for example redefine it but not change anything so this uh, new uh, uh, new redefined safe method would just call the original safe method but for example i don't know let's say that uh, we don't we don't actually want to save people uh, which were born before uh, year 100 for example uh, so in this case if self birth year is uh, more than 100 is greater than 100 then we save the object else we don't save anything we just print um, too old for example and that's it so let's create a young person for example it will be person objects create birth year uh, 2000 and we can see that this uh, this is the uh, object by uh, with the ID seven so for and it was uh, successfully saved because we didn't receive any error so uh, right now if we want to get all the objects in the data in the database we see that uh, our new uh, new object with id7 is actually saved in a database but for example again let's try to create an object with the birth year one which will be uh, basically too old and when we try to save it we get an error that this uh, person is too old and for example if we uh, try to retrieve the list of all the persons uh, we don't have it here so the the, la the last uh, person that we saved was the uh, number seven and the new guy which is too old for our application is not saved here and uh you know 
now you can do something like this, uh, like this, for example, with delete method, if you don't want to delete something. Uh, or you can, for example, I don't know, uh, when you save object, you also want to uh, make some other changes to the model. And then before save, you would uh, write something, uh, something else. So something that should happen before you save the object. Uh, I guess one more thing that I want to show you is very important stuff. It's string method. And basically, as we can see, when we retrieve objects, uh, this is what we get as a string representation of this object. So it's not really helpful. We just uh, get the ID of the person and that's it. But for example, uh, you know, you, uh, we might uh, actually want to have something else here. For example, uh, here uh, we would return the birth year and the death year of the person for a string method. Also, let's exit and let's run it again. I will just copy that. I don't have to write it down once again. And right now, uh, of course, we we didn't define the death year anywhere. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, so in this case, uh, we basically just defined uh, years, uh, the birth years. Uh, but as you can see, this is a string representation now, and uh, this is very helpful. You know, you can do whatever you want uh, with this. Uh, you can give some other string representation to the object, and it will really help you to, you know, debug some things or just retrieve the information and see uh, what are the actual attributes of the object that you're trying to see. You can be really creative uh, when you create new uh, methods of the class and uh, you know you might also uh, want to check some reference. For example, uh, if you if you want to uh, overwrite predefined methods, Take a look at the list, for example, it's a string method, it's equal method, for example, uh, if we have some uh, complicated objects, uh, we might uh, want to redefine this method in order to change the logic of identification if two objects are the same or not, if they are equal or not. And uh, here you have some other methods and of course a really important save delete method. If you have complicated project, you most probably will have to do some uh, other actions uh, when you save or delete object, for example. So yeah, I hope this lesson was useful to you.